yeah. What's up, man? Who wants to get on shit? Connell Powell. That is jamming. On KPFK 90.7 FM with Ernesto and Zul and myself, Jeff Keller. And I'm going to be doing a show on Tuesday night with these fellas that we got here. We got Cooper Lee and Chris Sanders. What's up, fellas? How's it going, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having us. Man, so Thank what you. got you guys into comedy? Ooh. What did it get me into it? Dude, I've, I've always wanted to do it as a kid. Mm-hmm. Growing up, I grew up in L.A., actually. I'm a local. Mm-hmm. And I was in dry cleaning business for about like 20 years. Wait, Asian guy in dry cleaning. Yeah, I know, mm-hmm. right? What what can I say, man? It's like I walk into it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm 25 now. I've been in dry cleaning business for 20 years. <laughs> I was going to uh, say, man, you look young. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you look pretty uh, young to be uh, uh, Dude, it's the, only job, it's the only job where I was hired, fired, and grounded all at once. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the? How can I? Yeah, and then... Uh, then, you know, going into adulthood in my 20s, I was like, I can't keep this up. Man. Right. And it just hit me, like, what did I want to do as a kid? Right. Make people laugh. Make my family laugh. Make other people laugh. Comedy. And I went full force all this year. All right. We'll talk about this later. We'll, yeah. we'll, I'll get you out of it. Uh, <laughs> Thank uh, you. That's a good Thank choice. You. It's a good choice. Chris, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on? What Happy got you into it? It was weird. Like, uh, I was, like senior high school, right. the debate team. I was kind of a nerd. But I like to make people laugh. And I noticed people liked me when I made them laugh. Oh. But specifically, I uh, had a rough sort of childhood a little bit. Uh-huh. And uh, I figured, like, if I made my siblings laugh, they'd be okay. They'd be okay. And that's kind of what uh, what started off. Uh, Mom had some mental illness growing up. Right. And uh, the humor just kind of diffused it. You know, we kind of forgot about it with the laugh. So That's funny. That's yeah. kind of what I did at the house. Yeah. Seriously. Are you guys like a comedy duo, or are you guys separate? Because you guys came in together. So yeah. confusing. Well, we're both Cambodian, actually, which is kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. You know? we're, we're, I, I can we're see black. that. <laughs> he, he's, he's from West Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah. from East Cambodia. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, we're actually quite connected through the open mics in L.A. Yeah, super okay. And we just connected like a bond, just because you don't meet Cambodians at all. Yeah. In L.A. especially. Like in literally three weeks of meeting, we're like, let's start a mic. It was like yeah. shotgun marriage. It was yeah. crazy. And just things just click. You know when you meet people in life, you just happen to click. And just through our sheer just, chemistry, just sheer yeah, chemistry. chemistry, and just yeah. going through the mics together, and then we've just been close since, and now we're co-hosting a show out in Hollywood. Yes, we're at uh, Solar Day Kawenga. It's on the corner of Franklin and Kawenga. What day? Tuesday, Tuesday. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yes. Who's gonna be Tuesday. on the show? Well, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have Mario May, Mario May, Rob Russell mm-hmm. will be on the show Karina as well. Assad. Uh, indeed, uh, we're gonna be having Ket Zaghi as well, mm-hmm. and Rob Russell. And don't forget our special headliner. Who's that? Who's Jeffrey that? Keller. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, talking about. Yeah. It. Yeah. Dude, Bring dude, it home, baby. We're so we excited, go. man. Thank <laughs> you for doing it, man. Hey, now you yeah. know what I like. This is why I'm gonna have you guys on because it's just nice seeing guys that are young and you know and excited about the game. You know, I'm tired of being around old dudes just bitter. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Be bitter about Because, no, I'm just saying, a lot of guys have been 10, 15 years, you know, they've had shows or lost shows or were close to shows or guys have made it and they thought they were better and they're just bitter. Mm. And so when I met you guys, I was like, you know what, these, these guys, yeah. I like these guys. They're, they're excited. They're Every day. They're, Every you know day. what I'm saying? Every day I wake up, I'm yeah. just so grateful. I'm so energized and fired to hit the mics right jokes um, so yeah we, we both i think that's one reason why we like click so well we're just so excited about comedy but not just about doing it but like doing it with other comedians right you know? it you know when you think you're better than someone that's when you start getting bitter like we're all here to help each other grow and that's what definitely cooper and i have been doing and a lot of the comics at their mics have that same attitude right it's great what about the the history of, of Cambodians here in L.A. I mean, you guys talk about the <laughs> Cambodian <laughs> history. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a tragic, it's no, a tragic most, most experience. Definitely. All the people that um, from Cambodia who are here, yeah. do you guys incorporate that into your comedy routine? And if you do, the, the, how is that funny? I'm, <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's, it's, there's humor. There's Cambodians humor. as a community, like, We've gone through a lot because of the Killing Fields, the Khmer Rouge, the dark history. There was right. a war in Cambodia, and a lot of them immigrated to uh, Long Beach area, Man, especially. Long Beach. And it's just something so repressed in us. When we want to talk about it with our parents, they say no, 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 get back to school and all that stuff. And like they just, they just, it's just very repressed and just very hard to talk about because it it's such a dark, deep, dark topic. But yeah. as comedians now, we're just slowly yeah. shedding light into it. Most definitely. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, what's interesting is like. Uh, some jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mother, she's the one who's Cambodian, I'm actually half black as well, and 
growing up, unlike Cooper, I had no exposure to like my Cambodian history. I grew up in like rural Florida, right. and we were the only Cambodians in our town. And so I honestly didn't know what it meant to be Cambodian until I opened up a book. You know, I had to like do a report on myself to learn about myself because my mom didn't want to talk about that right. stuff. You know, and. For uh, a little bit, you know, uh, I just – since I didn't have any exposure to Cambodians, I just identified as black. You know, that's all I knew. Right. But once I started hanging out in L.A., going to Long Beach, meeting my first Cambodian person at the age of 25. Uh, yeah, exactly. You met your family. first Cambodian person at 25? Yeah, when I moved to L.A. Yeah. Out, yeah. Like there, I went to Florida State yeah. University. There were no Cambodians yeah, was there. was Cooper? <laughs> it wasn't Cooper. You're like, it was my long lost well. brother. It was like, might as well. Might as well be. Like, that's my mom too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my mom, speaking of moms, like my Cambodian mom, she believes in Cambodian black magic. Wait, wait, wait. She What's believes, Cambodian black magic? It's, it's, I believe in that it's, too. It's so. Have you seen those Asians with all tattoos and everything? Yeah. They really believe that that can stop bullets. Like, that's bulletproof to them. Really? Yeah, it's very spiritual, very crazy. Well, and ha- Have you ever seen one of them shot? Shot. Well, have, it, well, it might work. Hmm, that's a good question. I, I have not. Yeah, See, my cousins think tequila there. stops bullets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, every culture's good. Yeah, and every time I see my mom, she's like, Cooper, so you think you think you joke joke about your own race? You think you're funny? Huh? Huh? You think you're funny? How about this? And she calls upon my ancestors. You know, she she calls upon my ancestors to get the laughter out of me. Like, See, oh, you know what's so hilarious about the whole tattoo thing? And we all know this. If we if we had brothers that, that uh, uh, cousins that thought that tattoo stop bullets, we'd be like, yo, okay, let me shoot you right now and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been dispelled. Right <laughs> that would have been dispelled right within 30 seconds oh, of I my mean, relatives telling Cambodia, me that. Cambodia is so poor. I mean, compared to like America poor, I don't know. It's it's third world poor, and right. yeah. they just don't have guns. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> they really, I mean, just as any other third world country, I mean. But they have machetes. Machetes. And protect <laughs> machetes. <laughs> That's a that that oh, machetes. machetes. That would be a horrible way to die. Oh, yeah. yeah. Slash, machete. Slash. Imagine. Yeah, but, you know, Cambodians deal with a lot of pain. So, I don't know, slashing, they can withstand it, you know. <laughs> just a little cut, just a little cut, just a little paper cuts, you know. See, a lot of comedians have, like, mom and dad issues. Yeah. You know, because yeah. my mom was white. And, like, I never, my, my mom. Which is, by the way, his Twitter handle. That is. Oh, my yeah, my is. Twitter my handle is my mom's <laughs> white. <laughs> it's funny because I get racist on it going, hey, do you? I'm like, dude, my dad's black, so let it go. Is that, um, is that Twitter handle taken, my dad's black? No, you oh, should no. do that. that. You should do that. Hey, I got, I got first dibs. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's black. I'm just kidding. Not serious. That's black, yeah, exactly. right? His dad's black. But yeah. I never, I never saw the black side of my family until I was 30 something. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, when I was met my finally met my father. But so, and I tell these guys, they're not. I always thought I was Latino because I grew up in Bond Park and we used to hang out with my Latino cousins. Mm. And so I just thought I was Latino. Latino. Wow. Until until they said get the black guy, and I'm like, yeah, let's get him. <laughs> <laughs> And then that's when I found out yeah. I was the black guy. <laughs> that must have been such a cultural, cultural like identity thing for you. It really was. Yeah, I bet. Oh my God. Were you shocked at all when you found out like 30 years later? About well, well, see, when I met my father, it was crazy because see, I was kidnapped by my mom from my father oh. when I was one. Hmm. And so then, the amazing thing was when I saw my grandmother, who I was kidnapped from, and you could just see the hurt. Finally, leave you know the guilt just finally God. leave her body. Kidding, it was it was real. amazing, man. It was it was heavy. It really was. In America, right? Was it in America? Yeah. God yeah. damn. Yeah. Man. It's, it's crazy. And you know, my wildness is my father lived about 20 miles from where I lived. Wow. See, my real last name is Pittman. My mom changed my last name to Keller, yeah. so he couldn't find us. Oh, wow. This is when there was no internet. Oh no, this right? is a story. No, no. <laughs> I, I, yeah, read the book when it comes out. There's a book coming. There's a book coming. But that, that's cool though. So you guys met um, again. When is the show? Tuesday, Tuesday 8 p.m. This coming Tuesday, the yes. 9th. Yes. Yeah, for you especially. We do it weekly, but for your particular uh, show that you're headlining, mm-hmm. it's this Tuesday, the 9th. Between uh, it starts at 8 o'clock yes. and it ends at r- around 10. All right. So you guys got a website? Anything that you guys want to promote? Uh, want to I have an Instagram handle. I am Chris Sanders. Yep. And you can follow me on uh, Facebook or Instagram, Cooper Lee World. And we post regularly about this show. Uh, every week we have a new show, new headliner, new featured spots. It's every week. Uh, great, great venue, Cafe de Coenga. Always kills it with the food, the service, and they're always great for us, especially. All right. Coenga. Well, Chris, Coop, thank you for being on the Poacher Hour Power. Thank you for having us. And we're getting ready to go live in our KPFA studio with Michael Frante. It's a good day.